Good news, my lovely, wonderful people. Our very own brother, Mo Ware, has reacted after it was reported that Tinubu didn't speak at the COP28 in Dubai. Tinubu did not speak oh, with the 100 and something people that he took. You know, the presidency is trying to explain to Nigerians why Tinubu did not speak. They are coming up with all kinds of theory and explaining to us that ah, Tinubu did not speak because of ABCDZ, but are Nigerians buying it? Enough of the talk. Talk is cheap. And even the only time he get to speak, sorry to say there was a blah, blah, blue moment. And the people were looking at him and trying to understand what he was saying. Yes. More or less, you were say, guys, this is the person that is representing you. Sadly, you know, uh, this is what it is. Uh, you have to just deal with it. Okay. I neck declared winner. And as if that was not enough, there was the appeal court and then the Supreme Court. And up till today, as we speak, the Supreme Court has not even released uh, Peter Obey's certificate through copy. When they when they confronted them with it, they said, wow, that uh, Peter Obey's case is joined to Atiku's case. Ah, ah. Separate case, you say, is joined together. Anyway, welcome to Nigeria. Those are some of the things you see. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Omo Elisho Wawe react blast Tinubu after presidency revealed why Tinubu did not speak at COP28, as they told Nigerians in Dubai. Omoye Ali the 2023 presidential candidate for the African Congre Congress, has responded to a report indicating that President Bola Metinobu did not speak at the ongoing COP28 in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Why President Tinobu and several other Nigerians' representatives are participating in the event the absence of his speech has drawn attention. According to Premium Times, Yusuf Taja, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, offered an explanation for reason why President Tinobu non-participation, yet he took 1,411 Nigerians there without him even having any part or anything to do. Taja stated that the administration sought a shift in approach for the conference, moving away from traditional flashes, speeches that would yield little progress. In reaction to Teja's explanation, Showawe took to his verified Twitter page on Monday, expressing skepticism about the motion behind Nigerians' substantial delegations to COP28. Showawe ascertained that the presence of Nearly 1,500 Nigerians at the conference, including President Tinubu, was aimed at perpetrating a false narrative about his health, well-being, awareness, and expertise, all of which, according to Showore, are lies. He emphasized that every lie has an expiring date. Tinubu did not speak. He was not scheduled to speak. The only time he had opportunity to even say hello to the people, he blabbed they could not understand what he was saying. Yet he took one of the largest entourage under the Nigerians, under the Nigerians finance, fi, under Nigeria financing. These are part of the things that happen when a, a nation have no direction and there is misleading. So this is what is going on. Tinubu went with a lot of Nigerians. Of course, it's no longer in news. You know that you know the entourage, the number of persons that went with only Tinubu. You know. The money that they will be spending, only the flight is one billion. Calculate it. Only the flight for the number of persons Tinubu took with him will cost Nigeria one billion. That's not included of hotel. That's not included of feeding. Because they have nothing to do there. They are not presenting. There's nothing they are doing there. They will just be sleeping in the hotel, waking up, eating. So there's really nothing they are doing. Okay? There's really nothing they are doing. They are all day. They went with the president, their delegates. Okay? They will just be eating and sleeping. That's all they will be doing. They are all in the hotel. Just there wasting the money. Money that could have been injected into a community. And you will see the result. I don't know if some of you have seen it. I watched a video on, on Twitter or X, as it's fondly called now. And my heart went out to this woman. Yes, I will explain to you. You will hear it. It's like her shop is close to a primary school. And I'm not sure where it is. And if anyone knows the woman, if you send out an information, it would be good to reach out to her and just, you know, just encourage her. What she's selling? She's selling Gary. 
you know, what we make from cassava. Yeah, she sells Gary. And as the students were coming from school, some of them were hungry. She allowed them to have a handful of Gary. They were able to pack some and put in their mouth and eat. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not ten students. So everybody said, no one finished my Gary. Come on for there. They will slap the children. Up. But this one, probably that is the only meal those children have eaten since morning. The woman, there are some heroes in our society. Somebody was videoing, apparently it's like the person's house is like um, a story building, right? So, you know, some things you just captured, not really intentionally, maybe probably just, you know, in by the window and saw this and just captured the moment. As the students were coming out, they were packing garbage. And the woman was there. She saw them and probably just a heart of a mother or a heart of a giver. She said, these children, some of them have not eaten. Some of them, this will be their only meal. And they will just come, they will scoop a, a handful of gari, and they will go. And the children will never even say thank you and all that. You know, those, my, not, not if you say thank you. And I'm not saying that to say that it is wrong to say thank you. We should teach our children good manners. But what am I saying? She just allowed them to eat freely. That's how bad the society is. Some have not fed that day. Yet, your government put over close to 1,500 people on the plane, 1 billion for their flight fare, if you have to calculate it in today's term and exchange rate and money, to go to Dubai, to do what? Nothing. Sit in the hotel and be ordering because the government is paying. The government is paying. <clears throat> when somebody talks, they'll say, your auntie Buhari, what did Buhari do you? Um, Tinubu, I beg your pardon, what did Tinubu do you? We'd like to hear from you. If, if, please, please, that, um, in case you have seen that on Instagram, anyone who has information about that woman, such people, she did not even know that she was being recorded. Those are heroes in our society. When we see such things, we should try to encourage them. If not 20,000 reach your hand, if not 100,000, just to support her and say, Madam, you are one of the silent heroes in our society. Nobody may tell you, but want to say thank you for feeding nobody's children, for feeding someone's children. That you don't even know where they are from. They just come and they take a scoop of Gary and they were eating. Yet, your president took people. Guys, if I think I'm a, it's just a verse, it won't cause verse. I'm not supposed to verse. You see, and so, so leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now. Bye bye.